All right, it's week 10 and we got a tight playoff race here. Let's get this over with. Hello, my name is Shadow the Late and welcome to KCC Season 4, Week 10. We are fighting my good buddy Ochum, the king of all EVs, and his St. Louis Cyber Dragons. And as you can see, not too shabby thing we got going on here, obviously. Sound Man Great Deadly as ever. Paleo frogs are right there, plus the sharks are going to Toad. Mech Lords are kind of his bread and butter, honestly, something he always takes. And overall, not a too shabby line above back row, and uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. <laughs> Staples either. But we have a plan to beat that, and I will show you the plan. First things first, the trains are coming in one more time. Pretty standard stuff, no more Toad Collector. With a side deck of the extra copies of Skullmeister, some Cosmic Cyclones, because Paleozoics hate this card. Prohibition for being Prohibition. System down in case me in case we get caught going against Mech Lords. Bye bye damage in case we get caught going up against Mech Lords, the only other deck that can actually OTK us. Ignore that. And Call of Darkness has monster reboards funny. And you may notice that we have no XC's monsters, or no Synchros in here. Because I don't want to get- I don't want to get caught with my pants down while playing against Mech Lords. Next up. The Evil Twins are here. Pretty standard build, all things considered. The whole Kaiju package in the side deck, system down, and bye-bye damage. Nothing special there, so we can move on. And finally, Speed Wars are coming in. Once again, pretty standard build, hoping to god not to get faced off against Mech Lords. Also main decking the Ice Dragon's Prison. Because it turns out, his draft hates this stuff, since they all share types, making Rivalry of Warlord to go to good for his draft. Our side deck consists of the last Ghost Mortar, the other copies of Skullmeister for Salamangrace, Cosmic Cyclone for Paleos, System Down for Mech Lords, Call of Darkness, because it's funny, IDP in case we get caught in a matchup where it's useful, Basically all of them. And duplicate because we could. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's get into duels. Game 1, trains have gotten matched up against Paleo Frogs. And yeah, not bad at all considered. Yeah, we have to let him go first. And he's going to normal some Sidewalk, send Ronin Toten, step 4, and pass the like, double Reckless Creed. You gotta love it. We're going to normal summon not Express Knight. Fully expect to get interrupted as he chains Reckless Creed and Morella to send Kanadia. But we do get the special summon off. We summon Super Dora and just punch the Swap Frog. I did not want to risk getting this thing to get it and destroy it, but I cannot just make sure make it invincible. He's going to know summon Doom Frog, activate Rotatone, and I opt to just get rid of his last back row while making sure Dora's invincible. I've learned from my previous weeks. He's going to summon Toad, set to, and pass. Now for me, I have to bait out the Toad, as if I want to OTK him. I'm gonna need Levi at 6,000. So after we have only switch on, he reveals the second rivalry of Warlords just to get Canadia on field, and now he has the two plot going. But we can break this. We're gonna summon Bullet Train and Derek Rain, which doesn't mean doesn't care about rivalry of Warlords at all. Knowing we're gonna pop his toad, he opts to just to use it instead to get rid of our super or Kusov Max. We, though we do get rid of the Doom Frog anyway, we make Levi go to 6k attack. And ba-boom, we take game one. Going into game two, once again, Eevee is going first, and he opts to do the most deadly play of all time. Set five pass. Heavy Storm's not a real card anymore. We're going to blind Cosmic Cyclone, hoping to hit a Paleozoic as he chains the Reckless Breed as we ditch the Canadia. Excellent hit. We're going to summon the Pegasus Stampede and Steric Crane as we're going to summon Bull Train, but that gets hit with a solid strike, so we're just going to set one and attempt to pass, but. He old noise it, which is fine by us, because we get to add a kaiju to our hand. He's going to Santa Claus us, and just pass. Free draws for us, not really complaining. He's going to activate robbery here as... Okay, we'll just get rid of Santa Claus. And we're going to Kaiju Slumber, hoping to go for a game. And at this point, I'm just going to summon Pegasus Stampede. Make it level 10. Summon Gustav Max. Deal a nice chunk 2k. Destroying it, summoning Leve, making the attack 6k, and Eevee surrenders, giving us the first match. Game 2, and our aces are getting hits, hits against each other. The Evil Twins versus the Salamangrates. 
Let's see how this goes. He's gonna go first, activate summoning Lady Debug, adding Gazelle to hand, activating Sanctuary, making Phalanx, making another Phalanx, summoning Gazelle, using Gazelle to send a copy of Jack Jaguar, summoning Sunlight Wolf, activating Jack Jaguar if I can summon it, sending a Phalanx back into the deck, getting the Rage back, setting three and passing. Very deadly thing we have right here. We have a plan. We're gonna activate Sunny Stitch, which he opts in the gate, naturally. We're gonna normal summon Lola, which he opts to Rage, only to realize that that doesn't do jack shit to us. We're gonna summon Lila here and have you certain this combo before. Summon Blue, Summon Red, Summon Red Link. We actually summoned Blue Link to get rid of his last back row, which is actually a field still, which he just baited us into using. But we're going to punch into the Sunlight Wolf, which he uses Bailey to protect. Unfortunate. He's gonna Jack Jaguar here, summoning back a Sunlight Wolf to get his stuff back. An overlink for Blaze Dragon. Did you know this card existed? It's okay, I didn't either. I mean, outside of Master Duel. He's going to Gazelle and Sunlight Wolf here. Sending a Fusion of Fire. Interesting. We had, although at this point, we do have to shotgun the twins out of fear of getting Fusion of Fired. And this one, he will Fusion of Fire us to summon Violet Chimera, the big boy. We're going to summon Blue here just to opt and try to set up some defenses and take 41 to the face. Very scary, but nothing we can't come back from. And of course, now we draw the Ghost Mourner. Oh well, we have to send Blaze Dragon so we can use the protection effect and possibly pop a card as he gets the Fusion of Fire back. Very annoying indeed. We're gonna activate Sunny Stitch, Normal Summon Blue, and have you seen this combo before? Summon Red, Summon Blue, destroy the back row so we can't Fusion the Fire, Summon Trouble Sunny, and punch into Violet Chimera. Not too bad of things considered, and we have the funny thing as he draws his funny thing, Emerald Eagle. Did you remember this is a card? Anyway, he's going to get Gazelle back to his hand as we just keep gaining life points as this is a Link Spam deck. And he fumes a fire, forcing us to shotgun Trouble Sunny to at least hope and effect off. Fortunately, we do still get the healing, and we are going to Ghost Warner here as he is going to try and OTK us. Which point, we'll summon back Lilla and absolutely bop the Sunlight Wolf. Not wanting to die any further. Now, we will lose our Links here, but thankfully, we can come back from this. Just a hunch, but I think we can. We're gonna get rid of Violet Chimera, as he actually has to summon Gazelle during our turn, sending a Spinny. That's fine, we have the two other twins in our grip. Opting to just pop the Gazelle, summoning Trouble Sunny, and beating his face in. Oh wait, we actually summoned the Sanctuary, I forgot we had that though. He activates Spinny, but we are going to Skull Meister here, stopping him from doing anything. He's going to summon Phalanx, as we just keep getting our health back. More, I say. And out of fear for fusion in the fire, we just opt to shock on the thing, and so we can't make any more plays, to which he just surrenders, having nothing left to do. Game two, and hey, do you guys know we have mind control? I kind of forgot for a while. But that's fine by me. He's gonna normal summon Foxy, getting off the top. Nothing. <laughs> he hates it. He's gonna summon Bailings, adding Sanctuary before I activate said Sanctuary. Make, activating another Bailings, setting two and passing. We're gonna cause a cycle here, opting to just get rid of his stuff, getting the solemn strike, thankfully, but he roars our keys to kill. That's annoying, so we're gonna have to set IEP and pass, having no way of getting things out. He's gonna normal summon Foxy, I'm throwing off a Tom. Okay, Falco will do it. I know Fal, I mean. We decide to I IDP here, getting his links out of the graveyard. Now he does still have a Bailings in grave, but at this point, all I can do is really attack for 18, which is strong, but we'll live. And we draw the other off the top, and at this point we'll just summon blue, summon red, summon red link, summon blue link, ignore that thing you heard clattering on the ground, and have you seen this before? We're gonna draw one, summon the link for it, and hey, there's Chalice! Pretty good. We set to and pass, and he draws off the top of the Fusion of Fire Arceus, damn it. Oh, well, it's fine, we're still gonna get the things off, as he makes valid Chimera. Fortunately, we're just going to summon Blue back and opt to destroy the Valley Chimera. Now, he won't be able to walk over us, but we can we can just revive it next turn with Keys to Kill. And just destroy the foul, foul there. And we do just that! Destroying his Sanctuary, at which point he's going to surrender, knowing he has something left for us, as we take Week 10. Going into Game 3, we have gone matched up against the Anti-Synchro deck. This might be a prop for us. Thankfully, we do get to go first as we summon Primitive Butterfly, summoning Car Turbo, activating Speedboard Scratch to get a double yo-yo. 
This will make River Band Shooter, Banishing Synchro Dragon, getting the Piper, drawing off the top. A scratch, pretty good. We're gonna activate double yo yo, getting the red eye dice back, making the double yo yo a two, summoning Kark Blaster, summoning back its materials, making. Well, first of all, we turn double yo yo into. Well, we, we unlock Crystal Clearing Synchro Dragon as we summon back the Terror Top that we originally sent with Rubber Band Shooter, summoning Fast Dragon, and passing. And so he's going to double summon the Gold Gadget and just go straight to battle phase, punching our Band Shooter. Very, very based. We're going to speed on Scratch here for a Marble Machine. However, he opts into Retro Tribute, but we have the Crystal Clearing finally in the game some stuff. We're gonna attack a Tom Work to hand, activating Top Tom Work to get a Dengai Hokute. Dendak, Dendak, I can't in English. But he's going to activate the Silver Gadget, activating Silver Gadget to summon from deck Gold Gadget as we finally get rid of his gadgets. And he's going to draw the Supply Squad, a completely useless card that does something for him. Going straight to end phase, and at this point, the duel is over. We're gonna send one, activate Dendak Hokute, Smitting Black Court Blaster, just. Because I really wanted to flex. Summoning Cork Blaster and going for a game. Going into game two, and Eevee's drawn a certain little side deck card called Discord. You can read that. I wish I didn't have to read it. But he did, and he is going first. He's gonna summon Silver Gadget, summoning Mechlord Emperor Skyle, summoning Super Dreadnought Dreadnought, setting Discord, and passing. Which point we're gonna actually see what scratch and he flips up the Discord, at which point I'm mentally panicking. So we special Terratop, summoning rubber band plane, adding card turbo to hand. He's gonna activate speed work plane to make his dreadnought lose 600. We summon card turbo, we summon Taka Tomborg, using Taka Tomborg to get another card turbo, making rubber band shooter, finishing the crystal ring, adding dead Daiko Duke, and sending the Piper. Normal summoning double yo yo, sending card turbo, and boosting a monster attack by. Oh, nice. 800. And at this point, yeah, we're overcoming him with against Discord. I know, I can't believe it. And drawing Solemn Strike, we take the game with a purely synchro deck under Discord. Too good! Too good, baby. Too good. Let's go. Not even the anti-tech can stop us. But we are done with the season. We may have won. But unfortunately, the guy we were in contention with just got the easier schedule. I know it's sad, but hey, we had a good run. Let's go over our decks. So uh, here's an evil swarm list. A little bit of a hint what I'm doing in the future once all my leagues are done. In the meantime, let's go over some, uh, some decks. First things first, evil twins. I could not have been happier with my tier one pick. Amazing deck, performed well all season. Perfectly powerful, always consistent, never could OTK, but it always had to control cards to get the job done. Excellent deck I would recommend using. Unchained. So I mainly wanted to draft it just for the sake of using it alongside Unchained Evil Twins, only to later on realize... Yeah... They were not that good. I had some fun with the Luna build, but I feel like I could have done with better tier two. But overall, I did have fun using them for the few times they did come. They were just not as good as I wanted them to be. Speedroids. Now that was a fun one. Speedroids are simple. Random bullshit go dot deck. Winning under Discord. Pretty good stuff, I'd say. The train package. Even with Ancient Gears underperforming, you never did. You always did what you had to do, mostly. You pulled through. You did what you had to do, getting the kills you needed to get. Overall, lovely deck I do so again. Octowatic. Octowatic's an interesting case. I did... Like, don't get me wrong, it was a fun deck. But, like, it was just too inconsistent, but it was definitely fun when it popped off. So it's just sitting, when I sat on Melusine against Gravekeepers, that was a fun memory. Overall fun deck, I'd recommend trying it out sometime, even if just in casual play. Reptilian, you never came pure, just as a, sec, as a side set to Ogdoatic. The Kaijus, 
Like, it's been no secret in KCC for the past few seasons that Kaiju drafts are superior, sort of. You essentially get an extra staple because you also get Dark Hole in the form of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. It just outed everything and everything under the sun, and I was glad to use them. May even do them again in the future. Ice Dragon's Prison, while a late addition, you were a much welcome addition. And I would gladly use you again. And mind control... Eh. You never really came. There were many options. Maybe I could have gone... I don't know. Trap does shoot? Yeah, we have trap does shoot. We will let that sink in. But overall, I enjoyed this season. It's my first time not making playoffs, but I've done worse. See you guys around.